Welcome back. Some of the best female truck drivers in the country are in Pittsburgh this week competing in the National Truck Driving Championships at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. These women are skilled professionals succeeding in a male dominated workforce. When I heard this competition was in town, I couldn't wait to check it out because of my special connection to truckers. On the road again. Big rigs, they're all over our nation's highways. And let's admit it, most of us have a stereotypical image of what we believe truck drivers to be. But that image is changing as more and more women get behind the wheel. To be honest, I think it's great because women, they tend to be a lot more patient and they seem to be perfectionists. So that kind of plays on us a little bit as a male driver. There are 11 women competing in this year's National Truck Driving Championships at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center in Pittsburgh. That's the most this event has ever seen in its 77-year history. One of those 11 women competing is Ina Daly from Phoenix, Arizona. She's been competing and driving for decades. You know, there are a lot of uh, typically female jobs and typically male jobs, and women shouldn't be afraid to try male jobs. Ina is exactly right about that. I know what she means firsthand. You see, before this TV gig that I'm doing right now, I too used to drive 18 wheelers for a living. This is what I used to look like as I put myself through college driving big rigs for FedEx. This is awesome. I hadn't been behind the wheel of a rig in 12 years. I'm gonna yep. release the parking brake here. So I was ecstatic to see if I still had it. I'm used to having gears. Like I wanna grind the gears. I don't like this automatic transmission stuff. No, the other way, the other way, the other way. I was a little rusty on the obstacle course, yeah. but with everything else, especially the backing, you have to turn the wheel in the opposite direction that you want your trailer to go. I nailed it. How do you think I did? I think you did phenomenal. You're you not really just did. That. No, no, you were very skilled. Skill and safety are two of the most important things in this business. And while I don't have any immediate plans to get behind the wheel again, I keep my Class A commercial driver's license current just in case. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, the moral of the story is I that, you know, it's just, it's just women should not be afraid to do anything in a male-dominated world, and truck driving is a great profession. It wasn't what I set out to do. As I said in the piece, well, I put myself through college sure. driving 18-wheelers for FedEx. I always wanted to be a news anchor, so I'm doing what I wanted to do, and I love it. But, you know, if, you, if it's something you want to do, don't be afraid you of it. left out the part there where you drove through the side of the building, though, in that big <laughs> hole now not. at the convention I center. It's a little well. rusty, I will admit, a little rusty, but nonetheless, it was Automatic nice transmissions? It's not 10 gears it's, anymore? I know, they're making these new vehicles. Well, was I it always 10 or 16? It, or well, it, it was always 10 when, I, was, was it when, right? I, when yeah. I did it. But, yeah, a lot has changed, so they've got the automatic transmission. And I wanted to bust out and get on the road and really open that puppy up. Up, but they wouldn't let me out of the David L. <laughs> Had to keep you in the building. <laughs> and and who knew?